Okay, I have my four oranges set up. I kind of just set them all apart so we didn't have to deal with overlap for the first one. So let's draw the oranges up. I'm just using a regular pencil. It's a 9 by 12 sheet of 140 pound water paper taped down. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly sketch them. They're basically just circles. Just elongate it a little bit where they get pushed in. And, and then let's draw the other one over here. Just easy circles. Just get a feel for the shape. Put light lines so you don't have to draw exact lines with light lines. You can change them and leave them on or use this gum eraser here to get away the, all the lines that you don't want. But you, you don't have, in watercolor, it's okay to have a few extra light lines. And then this guy's back here and he's really round over here. Well, that was looking at it when I was sketching. Now that I'm crunched a little bit, I'm, I, I am getting a little overlap. Eh, they're just circles. Even if you want to take a some kind of template and draw a circle with that, that's okay too. Because it's really all about the painting. You can get better at drawing later if you want to, or take more time at it. Right now, it's all about controlling water. All right, and there's the shadows. Okay. Now, for that size, for my first layer here, I'm just going to go straight into the cadmium orange. Try to get a little darker, but yet I don't want all the water. Too much water, that's when you get in trouble when you have too much water. And you can't control it. Or at least that's when I find myself in trouble with it. Okay, let's see, we got some down here, about up to there, maybe a little bit around. If we work quickly, what those lines there, here, we can get those out of there. But let's, like I said, work quick. The water, depending on the where you're at, how hot you're where you're at doing it, and how quickly the water will soak up. Okay, now I'm going to put a, this one I'm going to put a little bit of cadmium yellow in, in the mix, and I'll mix it right in there. In that little tube. Go right into that second one. We actually didn't really get a whole lot down there of pigment. Watercolors, when they dry, they're going to dry a lot lighter than uh, you put them down as. Whereas acrylics dry darker. Alright, that's pretty much it. So now what I want to do is maybe take some drier stuff, break up these lines up here where the lightness of this orange is, might go. Just break up the line so it makes the wash looks gradiated. I hope that's the right word. Alright, you can see now that since the paper's flat, I've kept away from my tape. The paper's staying fairly pat, uh, flat, so you can see where the water's draining to. See, so now I can control that, but if I get too much of that, then the water might go another way. So what I'm going to do right now with this one is let that dry 
just like that. All right, this coat is dry. And this was pretty thick. We put on this one on thick, and I let it run off to the edges there. So let's let's put a little more on now. Caddy orange. And even get it darker down on the edges here. Now I don't want those lines, so I try to blend them in. Okay, looks like I'm running out of orange. I should put more orange in there, but we'll just get this little layer done. Some things happen when I put it on thick on these oranges. See how it gets, whoops, I must have touched, oh, I touched the uh, yellow ochre there. So I ran out of orange. So let's just go with the, we'll use the cadmium yellow a little bit. Since I ran out of the orange, I actually have orange, what am I talking about? I ran out of it there on the palette. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's some color. Now you gotta be careful, you gotta mix the... When you take it straight out of the tube like that, make sure it gets mixed up with the water. Here that little bit of yellow ochre is not going to hurt it, but this big line might push that back down. Let's dry this off a little bit and I'll try to fade that in a little better. If I look back there, I got or at my painting, see it? I mean, my real oranges. Okay, maybe a little bit on this one now. Whoa, here we go. Yeah, I got a little bit of bubbling going where it's bringing this water. That's why the dark spot was there. But with the oranges, you can get away with little stuff like that. because they do have uh, the skin is the texture is not perfect and let's uh let's follow this one around I think it goes kind of around in here and let me take this soften that so they call it well, I would just say take the line out but it's really just softening the line We'll get a little more into the, this edge on this one. How's uh, that? A little more on what's this one? Oh, yeah, this one's taller. My lines are so thin there. Get rid of that edge. Soften it, I should say. They're all looking pretty good. This one I'm getting a little concerned about because when I put that yellow ochre in there, it really. Not that the color screwed it up, it was the paint that had all the little chunks of pigment in it. Yeah, we'll work it out. Let's see how it... Uh, yeah, we can live with it. Alright, let that dry. 